So for example, if you had one child that qualified and you were gonna get $3,600, you will now start receiving $300 per month, which will allow you to, as we all know, bills come monthly, not annually. So if it's a rent payment, a mortgage payment, buying your groceries, so this is a tremendous change in the law. Uh, and, and excuse me, um, I, I got to ask you this question. So now with this money coming in, what about folks that are living in subsidized housing? Is that going to impact their rent on the other end? I mean, that, that's no, probably the biggest this question. Is a, right. No, this should not affect other federal programs for those people receiving the payments. So they'll be able to have this money, put it in their bank account, save it. Because I don't know if you know, when you live on a, you know, a federal program like Section 8, you got to supply your bank account. Any new money that comes in has to be accounted for. And then your rent is adjusted. So will folks really be able to save this new with this new tax credit? Well, we have to remember the change in the tax credit is twofold. There was an existing credit on an annual basis that people were already counting in their cash flow. So we're going from $2,000 per child to $3,000 per child. So the big change is having it paid out monthly. So if the $1,000 differential changes your income substantially, then it may have a change overall. But this program is really designed more to help people for their monthly bills and allow them to get money monthly to help them out. Got it. Well, uh, David, I know you're staying with us because we definitely have to continue this conversation. So we'll do so right after the break. When we come back, BNC Live, we're going to talk about more money and how it will impact your wallet. Stay with us.